So right now, this is my vlogging camera, which is the GoPro Hero 5 with the Rode Video Micro attached to it. If you would like to see how I did the setup, continue watching. So hey guys, it's Phoenix C and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you my new vlogging setup for my GoPro Hero 5. So I just got my upgrades for the month of October. It is the Rode Video Micro and the 3.5mm mic adapter which is needed for you to attach this microphone to your GoPro. So without further ado, let's do this setup. Your GoPro. A case with a cold shoe mount. Super glue. Road video micro. Mic adapter. Rubber bands. Your own choice of monopod. And a mini tripod. So let's open first a Rode Video Micro and 3.5mm mic adapter. First thing that you will notice is this furry thing which they call the dead cat or the wind muff and inside of it is the microphone. The shock mount and the cable. Now let's go with the adapter. I believe it is the only way for you to attach an external microphone to your GoPro Hero 5. If there are any other ways, just let me know in the comment section down below. And what we have here is the manual and the adapter itself. If you can find a case with a cold shoe mount on top, then you can skip the DIY part. So let's remove the side door of our GoPro Hero 5. This is where we are going to attach the adapter. As much as I wanted to use my blue aluminum case, I can't because the adapter won't fit in. So piece of advice, check the side opening first and ensure that it aligns with the ports. As a workaround, I'll be using the cold shoe mount of this and I will attach it to the original housing of my GoPro Hero 5. Using our super glue, we will now attach our cold shoe mount on top of our case. Apply the super glue evenly on the cold shoe and attach it to the GoPro case. Take note that the top of the case is not flat and the super glue dries so fast so you don't wanna make any mistake. Once totally dry, we can now attach our Rode Video Micro. After sliding in, tighten the shock mount in place. Now let's attach the microphone. Slide it in gently until it clicks into place. Then attach the cable to the microphone and the adapter. Wrap the cable around and attach the adapter to the GoPro. You can then add a wind muff if needed. Use your rubber bands so that when you detach the adapter or the cable, they won't just drop like that. Make them intact and in place. So basically here it is guys, this is my new vlogging setup for my GoPro Hero 5 with the dead cut on. So without the dead cut, it looks like this. So let's go outside and see how well it performs. This is the GoPro Hero 5 with the built-in microphone. How do I sound? This is the GoPro Hero 5 with the Rode Video Micro and the dead cut on. How do I sound? And this is what it sounds like without the Rode Video Micro, so you're actually listening to the built-in microphone of the GoPro Hero 5. So what you're currently listening right now is already the GoPro Hero 5 with the Rode Video Micro. Um, I'm here at Sparrow. So again, it's the built-in microphone of the GoPro Hero 5. Video micro. So I'm beside a refrigerator right now testing the built-in audio. Now testing the road video micro audio, do I sound better? What do you think guys? 
So with the built-in microphone, can you hear me clear, guys? So it's... Um, malapit na pala yung UAAP cheer dance competition. And if you will ask me, what's my preference? If Araneta ba or Moa? Of course... And that's it. I think the road video micro did well in improving the GoPro's audio. What do you think guys? Hey guys, it's Phoenix C and welcome back to my channel. Oh, and that's it. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you love it. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!